So we can carry out logical operations on a pair of binary numbers. So the logical operation is applied to each pair of individual, individual bits on these multi-bit numbers. So this is known as a bitwise operation. So they're very easy to understand, bitwise logical operations. You know, just, the relevant logic operation is simply applied to each pair of individual bits in the numbers. So we'll look at these two examples. We want to do bitwise or. So we've got our two values, A and B. So A is 1010 zero, one, zero, and B is 1001. Zero, zero, one. If you want to do a bitwise or operation on these values, you just have to look at each each pair of bits individually. So 0, 1 is just 1. 1 or 0 or 1, 0, 0 and 1. So it's you know, very, very easy. Just look at each individual pair. So do for a bitwise and operation is just the same. So we know 0 and 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So these are implemented in hardware just using up multiple logic gates of the relevant type. So we need one logic gate per bit in the bus. So that, um, you know, for the, the four bit example we just saw before we need four AND gates or four OR gates. So ra but rather than draw in this situation here where you might draw out the four different gates, rather than actually doing it like that, we normally just draw it as a single, single logic gate but again with this little dash on the arrows tells us that it's a bus so you could also write 4-4 four, four just to tell us that it's a 4-bit bus. So another op another logical operation we do is negation and I've also referred to as inversion or we've seen as it's known as a complementation as well. So this is again very simple we just involve inverting each bit of a binary number and again, it's very, um, you know, very easy to implement in hardware. And just imagine we can just use multiple not gates. So, for example, if you want, if you had a, a for example, had a value one zero one zero, you wanted to do bitwise negation on that. You just need four not gates. So you could just very easy to build the hardware. And obviously, each one of these bits. We'll just get inverted by that. But again, rather than drawing it like that, you could, you know, draw using this bus uh, symbol as well. Just to say, we've got four input bits going into a not gate, and then four, we'll get our four input bits. So, in an ARM, in a MAC controller that contains an ARM Cortex M3 MAC processor, there's a logical operation which is known as bit inverse clear. So this is essentially is a bitwise AND operation, which we've just seen. But then the, the bits of the second operand, so in this case, B, are inverted. So it actually allows us to clear just a specific bit in the first operand. So in this example, suppose A is just 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And we want to, for example, we might want to clear this particular bit. We might want to turn this bit, just this one bit, into a zero. So we can do that using the bit inverse clear operation. So for B then, we would just use a one on B. So whichever bit in B is a one, that's the bit that we're gonna clear in A. So if we want to clear this bit, we obviously set a one in that column in B. Now if we do the not, or the bitwise not operator on B, we'll end up in this situation. So just invert the values of B. And then now we do the bitwise AND on A and not B. So we're actually doing bitwise AND on this. So 1 and 1 gives us 1. 1, 1 gives us 1. 1, 1 gives us 1. But now not B is 0. So 1 and 0 gives us 0. So in this case, our answer, so Y is 0, 1, 1, 1. And that's actually, you can see, that's the same as A, apart from this bit has been cleared. So that bit was cleared because we've put a 1 in this column in B.